Welcome to Yoga Simplified. Thank you for joining us today. Since this is our intro um, portion of the series, we're gonna talk a little bit today about what yoga is and what yoga is not. And then we're gonna explore some different breathing techniques and discuss why breath is so important um, to the practice of yoga and actually to our lives every day. Um, so what, what yoga is? The word yoga literally means to yoke, which means to join, and it is a joining together of your breath and your body. That can mean a couple different things. That could mean your breath when your body is still, like in a state of meditation or prayerfulness. That could mean your breath when your body is moving, maybe in a, um, a cardio activity like running, um, you know, being mindful of that. And then also, of course, in the practice of yoga, when you are practicing asana, which is one of the eight limbs of yoga and is the Sanskrit term for the poses, for the movement that we think of when we think of yoga. Another one of the limbs, however, is called pranayama, which means breath of life. And pranayama is the breathing that is part of yoga. When the two come together, your asana and your pranayama, you've got a breath and body union and you are practicing yoga. Yoga is spiritual in the way that you connect with your own conscience when you are practicing. It is not spiritual in um, a religious way. There are no religious ceremonies, deities, icons, anything like that at any point in yoga. Yoga is connecting with your own spirit. It is quieting down your own breath and your own body so that you can hear what is inside you and you can discern if your spirit is being guided by the divine and if so, who that deity is for you. So one of the things that we're going to do, as I mentioned today, is starting with um, breath, but first we have to make sure we're sitting properly. So I'm sitting kind of crisscross applesauce. My legs are um, settled so that my ankles are both on the ground. That is more comfortable for me than wrapping my ankles the way that the kiddos do. Um, you may find that a comfortable seated position for you is to have your legs straight out in front of you. If you have knee problems, this might be it. Also, if you have knee problems, you may want to take a pillow and just put it under your legs. You're still sitting comfortably. While you've got the pillow, if you find that sitting directly on the ground is not comfortable for you, you can sit on your pillow. This opens up your hips a little bit, gives you a little bit of cushioning under your sit bones and also a little bit of lift through your upper body. If that's not enough, you can take your pillow, you can fold it in half, and now you've got more lift. You can take a blanket and fold it or roll it, whatever is handy for you. If you have a yoga block, you can position that under your sit bones. This is a, about a two inch yoga block. And I can really feel the difference when I'm sitting on the yoga block as far as the opening of my hips. So as you are uh, figuring out what kind of um, situation uh, props are gonna work for you, you might wanna figure about two inches to get that. I, however, am comfortable just sitting on the ground, so that is what I'm going to do. Um, the first thing we're gonna do then, after you are positioned, after you can feel your sit bones grounding you, either through your block, your pillow, your blanket, through your mat, through to the floor, and through to the earth underneath, the next thing we're gonna do is close our eyes, 
And we're gonna take a big deep breath in through your nose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Nice job. You may notice that that was a little difficult for you. Depending on what you're coming to this practice from, your breath might have been um, light, shallow. Your, you might have felt your heart beating underneath your breath. And it may have been difficult to regulate those breaths into a slow pattern. That's okay. That's going to happen sometimes. We are going to continue practicing with our in-breath. And this time, uh, we're going to add a little bit of pranayama, which is, you know, intentionally breathing a certain way. After the inhale, we're going to hold the breath at the top for a count of four, and then exhale the breath. You can do this with your eyes open or closed, and I'll use my hand to kind of guide the up, the hold, and the down of the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. You can allow your breathing to return to its natural pattern now. You're probably noticing that it's a little slower than it was when you first sat down. That being physically still and concentrating on your breath has helped your body to connect. We are going to practice taking some more of those big breaths and then we're going to try a different type of pranayama and then we're going to add some movement so now you might want to place your hand on your chest or on your abdomen maybe both you're going to take a big inhale through your nose and let it all out at once when you take a big inhale your chest and your stomach, your abdomen, are what expand. It's not like when a little kid takes a breath and it goes, and the shoulders go up and all of that happens. So again, place your hand either on your chest or your abdomen or both, take an inhale. Notice the way you're expanding and exhale. And we're going to take three of those breaths with the inhale and the forceful exhale, letting go of all of that air at once. And while you're doing this, I want you to visualize that you are letting go of the things that are stressing you out, that are weighing you down right now. Forget the grocery list. Forget that, you know, the HOA wants you to mow your lawn. Um, forget that you need to go buy school supplies. Forget that you have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. Just be present here. Take your inhale and let it go. Inhale. One more. Really nice job. The last thing we're gonna do is add some movement to our breath. So we're gonna take your right hand, plant it down next to you. And on your inhale, we're gonna raise your arm up. Inhale. And exhale. And we're going to alternate sides. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Nice job. You might have noticed that uh, you got a little bit of a side stretch on that. If you turned your head up towards the ceiling, you got a little bit of a neck stretch there too. So 
Let's take one more good deep breath together. We're gonna inhale, hold at the top, and then exhale. And start to bring your attention back to the room, back to what we're doing. Go ahead, take a look around. Your breath should be back to your natural pattern at this point. I just want to um, suggest that perhaps those breaths are things you can take with you out of this practice. You can use that breathing in the car in a traffic jam. You can use it in a lot of different situations. That inhale and then that forceful exhale of the stressors and the burdens that you feel weighing on you. Thanks so much for joining me today. We had an opportunity to explore our breath so we can learn to breathe and bloom. Have a great day.